Okay, we are gonna do a solo trach tie change. And James is gonna try and not look at the camera. So we have nice thick roll under his neck. Try and put his arms underneath the circuit. I do not swaddle him anymore. Even though he is teething, he's putting his hands in his mouth. Try and put a pacifier upside down. Sometimes that works. First thing I'm gonna do is take out this gauze, keeping his ties tied. And always look at it and see what color there's a different sputum is. I have just, this is a uh, body wipe, but you could use a baby wipe. And I like to clean around the stoma while the ties are still tied when I'm doing it by myself. And even when doing it with a partner, because it's just safer. Then I have a very soft, lint-free, which you would call a cleaner. And we just got these off of Amazon. And I just use it to dry. It's a lot of padding. You don't want there to be any yeast. And um, James's stoma looks very good. You can't really see because the camera's a little far away, but he really doesn't have anything going on around the, uh, the trach area. So I always feel the chest because typically they need to get suctioned already. So it's gonna suction. And for James, we go down to uh, double green in the first window. Then we flush it with a sodium chloride. Okay. Make sure you get the uh, balloon out of the way. So I hold that um, with my, my left hand here. And James is going to hold this pacifier. And while he does that, I'm going to put my hand on this side. I start with the side that's further away from me. And you just gotta feel for the point. Pull it up, it's Velcro. It's really important that you put your finger underneath so when you pull it out, it doesn't slice their neck because it is sharp plastic. I uh, lifted his head up, moved the trig tie around. So now I have the, uh, the trig tie over here, still attached. This is the hard part, it's a little tricky because in order to get this up, I used to have to use my teeth, so. Before I slide it out, I put my finger underneath the hole of the uh, trach and slide it out so my finger is um, protecting his, his neck. So that is trash. Now we're going to take the wipe and it smells good. It has a fragrance in it, but um, he is not bothered by it. Obviously, you could use a wipe that is more sensitive if they have like eczema or whatnot. James is doing pretty good with that. So, um, and I just make sure I really get in there. The hardest part doing it by yourself is I use my thumb and I lift him up and then I use my fingers to get into the neck. So, put him down. He's pretty good. He doesn't necessarily like lift his head up and help me but he's used to the routine you know we've been doing this since he was 38 weeks gestational so now we just dry it this is the uh, cleaner and I'm just drying it um, again making sure it's not wet or damp back there yes just drying it. Okay. Tricky part. I like to put, so there's two sides of the trick ties. Um, this is the, uh, the shorter side that you did not cut. And I use pepper medicals because they are my favorite trick tie. I actually get them from trick moms on Facebook because our DME does not supply these. They supply ones that are just skinnier and not as thick so um 
On this side, you just, you know, thread it through the hole here. But again, before you pull it through, put my finger underneath, pull it through with my other fingers. So you're always protecting their neck, um, never pulling the plastic through without your finger behind it. Now, tricky part is um, I have the split gauze. We also use a Covidian um, split gauze that I also have to get from Facebook because our DME doesn't supply that either. Um, it's really important to have split gauze that it does not um, shred or become fuzzy. You don't want fuzz in their stoma. So I'm gonna switch my hands now um, in order to get the, the split gauze under. So I'm gonna use my right hand keeping the trach in, <clears throat> putting the split gauze underneath, lifting up this side of the trach tie, putting that split gauze underneath, putting that side of the trach tie down. And then in order to do this side, I switch my hand back, make sure this balloon, again, is not underneath. And you can also always do the split gauze um, Afterwards, once you have the ties on, it's a little bit trickier, um, I think, but when you're first doing it by yourself, that's what I did. I did it later. Now, the hardest part is that um, I need to sit James up, and the circuit is under the railing, um, if you can see, because we, for rain out purposes, so you have to make sure you give him enough slack. Um, he also has a pillow underneath his legs, which I'm going to remove because I'm going to need him to sit up <laughs> right now. So, um, sorry about that. We are going to sit James up. And so I, he knows the drill. We're going to say one, two, three, and we're going to sit up. And I'm going to lift, put my right hand on the back of his head. And then my left hand is always holding the trach. Um, he decided to grab my bracelet. We don't want to do that. Um, and just really, you want to be careful, you're not pulling their head out of the socket or hurting their spine. Um, so when you have a partner, it's nice because they can help move the butt back. So ready? James, we're going to sit up. One, two, three. Okay. Now we're sitting up. And this is the trickiest part when you're by yourself because I am finding the gauze or the gauze, the trick tie with my right hand, and then also needing to bring this trach tie to the back. So now I can keep my left hand in the front, um, and my right hand's got both of the trach ties in the back, but now I have to move my left hand to the back because I need both hands to secure this. There's no way you're gonna be able to do a good job with one hand. So now I'm just going to make sure that the, um, the ties, and I can turn James around, <clears throat> that this blue part here <laughs> is touching. Oh, James, he doesn't want to show you. <laughs> that blue part there is touching this white part. So that's the other Velcro part. And then also you want to make sure that it's right in the center and that's not touching his neck at all. So, we did a good job. Then what I do is always lean him back a little bit, <clears throat> back on the pillow for a second. Just make sure the gauze is right in place, right in the center, covering up the holes of both of the pieces of plastic. And then usually, this is when James needs another suction, but he's actually, he's doing okay. So he's good. So that was it. That is a solo trach tie change. Say bye, James. Can you, can you wave? Say bye. <laughs> We're working on waving. <laughs> All right.